Hello everyone, I'm Audrey Tang, the Digital Minister of Taiwan. I'd like to thank the American Chamber of Commerce in Taipei for giving me this opportunity to share some ideas on cybersecurity with you. As all of us are well aware, Taiwan's public sector and corporations are the hottest targets of cyber attack, some of them supported by state-level actors. There is no doubt that cybersecurity has become one of the most urgent challenges that we have to deal with. And I believe the following speeches given by our Cybersecurity Director General, Howard Jian Hongwei, and Deputy Director Wu Fumei from the Investigation Bureau would bring you a clear picture on how we should enhance infrastructure and introduce policies to address cyber attack and cyber crime. Personally, as a hacktivist, I would like to also focus on the micro level, the individual's sense of security in cyberspace. To me, this kind of citizen cybersecurity is equally important to that of public sector and private sector security. This is because the fundamental value and potentials of the Internet are based on people's confidence and trust in the security of the whole infrastructure. For example, if people are afraid of data leaks or privacy violations, they would choose other offline modes of operation instead of making full use of the Internet. So this has not only economic uh, impacts, but also from the human rights perspective, this also impacts the freedom of association and assembly. Um, there's one interesting anecdote I would like to share with you. About a month ago, many retired public servants has launched a protest in Taipei to express their thoughts on the ongoing process of pension reform. And before the protest, a rumor has circulated widely on the popular media that the protesters must turn off their GPS tracking system in their cell phones because the newly appointed minister, Audrey Tang, is an expert of big data and the rumor has it that I will somehow track down all the protesters through the satellite system and find out who they are. Of course, it's not true. I will never do such a thing. I'm not a White Rose kind of hacker. I'm more of an Aaron Swartz kind of hacker. But However, the existence and the spreading of this rumor does show that there is a healthy room for dialogue um, of the whole society of what role the various data operators has, uh, and I look forward to engage in such dialogues to reduce the mistrust of the Internet and increase the awareness of individuals' uh, sense of cybersecurity. In this June, uh, the United Nations Human Rights Council once again called out all the states and to address security concerns, to ensure protection of freedom of expression, association, privacy, and other human rights, so that the internet can continue to be a vibrant force that generates economic, social, and cultural development. And following the uh, UN declaration, I think it is essential that we work toward mitigating cyber attack on our critical infrastructures and prevent cyber crimes that targets government institutions, corporations, and various individuals. It is also essential that we protect the human rights on the internet from being violated, sometimes unwittingly, by various data handlers. And once we ensure in a transparent way the security of all forms of online activities, then we can realize the full potential of the internet. In the future, I will keep paying attention on online human rights, digital education, digital inclusion, and other relevant issues to bridge many forms of digital divides. And furthermore, I will also participate in the decision-making process on digital economic policies through multi-stakeholder uh, forums, you know, forums such as this one. So enjoy the forum, and I look forward to um, having more interactions and collaborations with you in the future. Thank you very much.